Hey guys, it's Yaya Diamond. I am so very excited to have you guys on this. Well, you're not really here, but you're here watching, right? Yeah, you're on the show. Anyway, so I was just thinking the other day, like these, these people out there, there are people that literally teach children how to do so many different amazing things. Have you ever wanted to teach the next generation? You know what I found? I found that there are a lot of mentors that are MIA nowadays. I was growing up, I had a mentor. I mean, the grandmother down the street used to like tell me, hey, come here, sit down, let me talk to you. We don't have that anymore. People are inside. They're inside their houses playing video games. They're inside. Even the parents. I mean, where are you guys at? Hello. But I can't say that about my next guest. My next guest, she is a mentor all the way. She is teaching the next generation. And that is who you're looking at today. Miss Kamika Bell, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Yaya. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited and honored to be here. Thank oh, it's you. such a pleasure. Thank you. So let me ask you a question. Let's go back in time. Mm -hmm. I'm a nosy person. That's why we have this show. <laughs> and I want to know what helped you or what made you decide that you wanted to do this in the first place? You know, yeah, yeah, that is an interesting question. A lot of people ask me the same exact question. What made you come up with Girls with Pearls? Why are you mentoring? Why are you pouring back into so many young girls? I remember in my life, back in my younger age, 13, 14 years old, I was a very shy young lady and somebody thought enough of me. I always attribute a lot of my success to number one, my grandmother, who was a devout Christian, who really where I get my strong spiritual and biblical foundation is because of my grandmother. And I believe that anointing and that mantle has been passed down to me. Number two, um, a great teacher by the name of Laverne Reed. She um, played a pivotal role into my life at a very young age. She was the one who really ushered me to break out of that shyness. She introduced me to an oratorical contest, which was in Chester, Pennsylvania. It was my first ever opportunity where I had the opportunity to speak in front of people, in front of public. And you're speaking of a young lady who was very shy, didn't have a lot of confidence, but she saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself to participate in this oratorical contest. And we spent countless days and hours um, crafting my presentation. And my presentation was, um, You Can Accomplish What You Will by Marcus Garvey. And I remember reciting that oral oratorical speech with such confidence and oration. And, and I really started developing my public speaking skills and really coming out of my shyness. And then there was a lady in the audience. And at that competition, I believe I won third place. It was so long ago. And there was a lady in the audience who saw something else in me. And she said, there is a pageant coming up. And I would love for you, well, she approached my mom. I would love for your daughter to compete in the Miss Pennsylvania Teen Beauty and Talent pageant. Again, no talent. I had no idea what I was doing. And I competed in my first pageant ever. And I remember like, okay, sure, I'll, I'll compete. And by this time, I just competed in this oratorical contest in one, one third place. And I competed in the uh, pageant. And I remember a friend of mine is really helping me craft my dance routine and really, and I did more of like a combination of a dance and also a um, speech. So I did a dance and I did a speech together, my first pageant ever. And I won first runner up. And that's when my life really started to change. And I really started entering into pageantry um, throughout my um, high school years, went into college, won freshman queen. And um, really how it really changed my life is when I was competing in pageants, at the uh, my college years, my platform was always around youth mentoring. I competed in the Miss America preliminaries and Miss US Miss USA um, preliminaries. I'm a former Miss Black Pennsylvania, where I had an opportunity to complete compete in the Miss Black USA pageant. So my platform was always around mentoring and youth. And it followed me. So at one point in my time, I'm like, you know what? I'm retired from pageantry. This is it. I'm just gonna go live my life. And I traveled to South Africa and my life changed. I just had this aha moment when I was in Johannesburg, um, Johannesburg, South Africa, and coming back from Cape Town. And then God just spoke to me and gave me Catalyst for Change. And that's when I really started to start working in the community, really doing the work with the arts, mentoring young people. 
so that's how my life really changed. Really from a seed was basically yeah, yeah, a seed was planted in my life for a reason, for a point in time and a reason. And that's why I'm doing the work that I'm doing today. Wow. 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 I mean, but it, it takes a lot to mentor, you know, and like I said, there, there are a lot of, I mean, I mean, can you, do you remember like back in the day when like your friends, parents would mentor you, you know, and it was like, it was great. Where did they go? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Where did they go? And I find that a lot too. Like you said, where did they go? I was really blessed with having some phenomenal mentors growing up, whether I was in elementary school, middle school, and then high school. Again, like my grandmother was a phenomenal mentor. My mom, you know, played a pivotal role into my life. My father's father being a daddy's girl. So really getting that family support and also getting that outside support at a very young age really helped with my um, where I'm at today. So like you said, where are they? And um, and it's so needed in such a time like this. Um, times are not as as they were when you and I were coming up. Today is, is even more crucial that we try to save our girls, particularly we save our Black girls as well. So this type of work and mentoring and the work that I'm doing is, is, is very necessary to really groom and, and provide opportunities for the next uh, future leaders of, of, of our world. Yes, yes. And why Girls With Pearls? What What is it? Girls with pearls. Why that? Yes, I am. As you see right now, I have my pearls on. I'm a firm believer when I was growing up, pearls always symbolize a form of etiquette. It's it symbolized a form of beauty. It just really makes young girls be well-defined and just stand out. Um, so I really teach the young girls is, is always being prepared. When you have a suit on, always throw your pearls on. If you have a pair of jeans on and a suit jacket on, throw your pearls on. It just really makes you well-defined and stand out. And also, and as you transition into adulthood, and even you know in your late teens, Get, a, get, a, get some Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. So certain things, I don't want to get into all of that is in my book that is coming out, but certain qualities and um, things that you really need as a young girl that really makes you stand out and as you transition into adulthood as well, too. A book? Yes. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. She got a book. Yes, ma'am. Now, now, hold on a second. Hold <laughs> on. Because people know how much I love authors. I love authors here. OK, love authors here. So tell me about this book, girl. Tell me about this book. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. You know, I get really emotional talking about it. It's such a long time coming. A lady by the name, actually, my mom's best friend. Her name is Larice Dow, and she is a minister. And she basically knew me when I was in my mom's womb. She knows all the work I have done over the years, all the trials and tribulations, all of all of my accomplishments, things that I was able to overcome in the face of adversity. And she said, where's your book? You have a story to tell. So every time she would see me and this has been like the past 10 years, she would ask me, where's your book? And I'm like, I don't have anything for you right now. So there was a time where just I had an aha moment. It was a quiet time. And I just you know, lost my father three years ago suddenly. And just sometimes things that I just was going through in my life that the Lord just was speaking to me that I really needed to tell the story. And it just was that time. It was just timing and positioning that I needed to go ahead and get this book. So it's been like 10 years of me kind of writing stuff down and not following through with it. So this is a season where it's almost at the finish line. I'm in the final edits and I know that it will definitely be published this year. My my goal is to start having little um, blurbs and a little excerpts out there during Women's History Month and then have it finally completed by, um, I would say, you know, June, July, to start going out doing book conversations and tours as well. But it's basically Pearls, Girls of Pearls, a story of mentorship, a moving story of mentorship and an empowerment. It's really talking about my life story, how I got started and how mentorship um, played a pivotal role in my life. And also, it's our responsibility to reach back and to mentor and pave the way for our next future leaders of tomorrow. Definitely. Definitely. You know, I see that you're having that gala. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Oh, gala. But the girls look so pretty. Like yeah. I was looking at the pictures and I'm sure that everybody saw those. They look so elegant and just so pretty and their pearls just made it mwah, just perfect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, the gala is just one of my, we do a lot of amazing things throughout the year, but the gala really prepares us. All the hard work we are conducting throughout the year, as far as our cupcake cookies and lemonade, our tea parties, our the hard work the girls are doing in the studio, 
where our hub is where all the creativity takes place. So our 12th is our, yes, our um, 12th year. It's, it, is it 12th? Yes. Oh my God. I'm like, is it our yeah 12th? Because we just had our 11th. We celebrated our 10th the year before last. So it's our 12th year. And it's not just dance. We do dance in our program. I'm a firm believer of the arts, really providing opportunities for girls of color. Because I remember when I was coming up, we didn't have a lot of opportunities. I, we didn't get a lot of roles because of our, our weight. We didn't get lead roles in ballet. So really providing an opportunity for the girls so that they can shine in the areas of ballet, lyrical, contemporary, hip hop, and praise. And then we have an etiquette piece to it where the girls are able to model in their gorgeous gowns. And we the way we prepare for that, we do an annual photo shoot several months before the gala. So the girls are able to prepare for the photo shoot and for the gala. So they're able to see themselves the way God sees them. So they can look at these pictures and say, wow, look how beautiful I am. Maybe a girl who was once very shy, now she's able to see herself in the mirror and see herself in these photos. Because I'm a firm believer of vision and image. You know, what do you see? What do you want to become? So we prepare this amazing photographer that comes in to do the shoots with the girls. And then at the end, um, the, it takes a few weeks for the photos to come back and they get those photos. We use these photos for marketing purposes. And then they use these same exact gowns um, for, for the gala. They model the um, gala and on stage and they, they recite their favorite scripture. We are faith based. So really teaching these young girls to be fearfully and wonderfully made and know who they are in Christ. Wow. They look so gorgeous. Look at them. Yes. They look so good. I mean, they're so pretty. Yes. They're so pretty. Look at that. I mean, they just, they shine. They shine. And it's just such a wonderful thing. I, I'm so happy you're doing what you're doing. This just makes all the difference in the world to these children, to these girls, and to know that they are beautiful you know, it is it is difficult to understand beauty when it comes down to being a, a, a woman of color who we don't really see ourselves in too many things. And then the things that we do see ourselves in a lot of times, I'm not going to say all the time, but a lot of times it's not of an, in a positive light. No. So it's, it's I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Miss Kamika, keep going. Keep yeah. going. So you have your gala. The tickets are not available yet, obviously, because it's in October. Yes. But, um. They, or they will be available soon. We did put a save the date out. Right, um, yeah. Available with the, probably in the next few weeks. We just haven't put the link up yet. But yes, tickets will be on sale soon. We are determining if we're going to do a live stream. Um, so, you know, that's so many components to live streaming and having the right people in place to do it. But if you're in the Delaware area, we would love to have you. But more information will be um, out on our website. You can continue to look on our website for um, updates regarding our 12th annual gala. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, I want to know about the book. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I am really, you know, you have no idea. I am so, I, you know, um, I, I'm a firm believer of projects. I work on multiple projects, and you know, as in a phenomenal business leader as you are, you have to have several things going in your pipeline and different projects going. It really aligns to your domain and your purpose. Yeah. But my book is one that I am just, I get chills. I was reading it through it um, last night, going through my edits and mm -hmm. send it over to my editor and going through it. I'm like, oh my God, this is, and then you go through it again and you add more stuff. It's like, God is still speaking. So I'm just really, ex I think what I'm really super excited about is that I'm going to, I, I want to, like, cause I had this vision, yeah, yeah. And hopefully I'll come down to, uh, get to come down to Sarasota, Florida. So I'm starting to like picture myself, where do I want to be? What library I want to be at to have these book signings? Because there's so many young girls out there that need to hear the story. There's so much more, and you probably feel this sometimes in your heart, it's so much more that we need to do. We're not even done. I know that I'm nowhere near done. So this book is like a catapult for me to go out there and to do so much more. All the work that God has called me to do, even when I'm having moments where I'm like, you know what? This is it. I'm, I'm retiring from Girls with Pearls. And there's always something else where I get a call from someone learn when I learn more about Girls with Pearls. Or one of my girls would call me, Miss Kamika, I have a question for you. So this book is, I'm excited to bless and to transform and to reach more girls, not only in the state of Delaware, this book is gonna be used as a vehicle to bless girls nationwide. So that's what I'm super excited about is to bless more people with the story. You know, you said something that's so funny. I heard everything you said. I, I, I truly, truly agree with everything. But one thing that you did say was, I'm gonna retire. 
I'm not gonna do this no more. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, y'all have to <laughs> now, now listen, when it does happen, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna be doing your thing, and then the next thing you know, you're gonna get super bored and volunteer. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but you just can't put it down. It's your baby. You know what I mean? You got to have something to do with something somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, but I truly appreciate what you're doing. Truly appreciate this. And that it reaches out to the ends of the earth and maybe inspire other people's to you know, other people and other peoples in different countries um, to do this as well with their with their girls or with their guys. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, since guys with ties. Somebody has somebody did mention that to me, Kamika. What do you have planned for boys? And really? uh, yes, that's something to consider because you're right, just as much as our girls, and we know that our girls definitely need it um, more importantly than I'm not trying to say the boys don't need it, but there is an opportunity for me to look into that further down the road. Um, but right now, you know, I know that God has called me to work with the girls and I just want to be obedient and do what God has called me to do. But mm. I've received a lot of inquiries asking me, Kamika, what about the boys? Mm. Oh, guys, guys with ties. I like that. Mm. Girls with pearls, guys with ties. That's, I like that, yeah, yeah. That's, mm. hmm, that's something to consider. <laughs> you never know. You never know. It may not be for you. It may be someone else. It might be someone else in your in your vicinity that needs to help you out and do that side of it. That's true. It would, nice. true. It would definitely be nice. But that's I mean, you know, you got to do what you're supposed to do, and then everything else will be added. That's so true. I I truly truly thank you so much for being on the show today. I mean, did we leave anything out? You know, no, we did not. I'm just excited. And I appreciate you um, giving me this opportunity to talk more about the work that I am doing here in the Tri-City area, specifically here um, in Wilmington, Delaware. Just continue to go on our website, www.gwpearls.com, just to see more updates on the things that we're doing. And also, you can visit my kamikalanette.com. That is the page where you would go to learn more about my upcoming book and any tour dates as well. I am honored to be here, Yaya. I get so excited. Excited to have these courageous conversations around girls with pearls and entrepreneurship and just the work that, that's necessary um, to inspire young girls. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and put that uh, banner up that that your, your website, right? So it's www.kamika Lynette.com and it's L Y N E T T E, Kamika Lynette.com. L Y N E T T E.com. Yes. yes. Right? Okay. Website. For upcoming book. Uh -huh. I think I got it. Oh, good. Yep. Is that right? Yep, that's it. Yep. Mm hmm Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so we gotta follow you, girlfriend. So when your book comes out, you're gonna have to come back on the show. Absolutely would love to. I would love to come back. It would be a pleasure. Definitely. We're going to have to talk about this book because, you know, we do have to go after our dreams and our goals, but we also have dreams and goals that are really intertwined with other people's dreams and goals. And if we don't do what we're supposed to do, we're going to be miserable not doing it. And that's, 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 that was me a few years ago, miserable not doing this. I am very excited to actually present to people what others are doing because we need to be inspired and we need to be mentors in our own way. Absolutely. And Dr. Miles Monroe, you're so right. He says it so eloquently. He said there's so many talents and gifts that are buried six feet under, which they're in a graveyard. So mm -hmm. while we're on this earth, we need to de definitely die empty, do everything that we're, we're called to do and leave this earth and die empty. Definitely. Well, Girls With Pearls, you guys can go ahead and go to that website. The QR code is in the top corner over there, Girls With Pearls. And also the upcoming book for Miss Kamika Lynette is going to be KamikaLynette.com. We have that in the, the QR code. It's not there, okay? But but the website is there, and we'll put that in the description box as well. Thank you so very much for being on the show. I truly, truly appreciate you and what you're doing, and keep going and keep doing it. Thank you so much, Shagan. Thank you. And you keep going as well. I will. I will. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the websites and all the other stuff that you need to be checking out for Miss Lynette. All right. And also Girls with Pearls. And if you are in the area when they're doing their gala or gala, I, I'm, I don't know how you pronounce it. Tomato, tomato. Okay. But right. gala, gala, 
go support, be the mentor, be there, support these girls because they need all of us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. Bye. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Thank you.